Hey what's up everyone, this is Hawkbacker from MaddenAcademy.com bringing you another video today. Uh, this video is going to be special in that we're going to be talking exclusively about Madden 16, that's the new Madden coming out in August, instead of giving you breakdowns about gameplay for MUT 15. Uh, we are doing this mainly because we got lots of new information from EA over the last couple of days about the new Madden which all started when the cover vote completed two days ago. Uh, the voting was all tallied and it was revealed that Odell Beckham Jr. is going to be the cover athlete for Madden 16. This is a preview of the concept art that EA released for the cover. Don't know if this is going to be the exact cover or if they're going to alter it in any way, but this is what we were given as kind of a preview. Um, when they released this information about the cover athlete, they also gave us tons of information about the new game that's going to be coming as far as what to expect in it. Not a whole lot of specifics, but we did get a general overview of a lot of stuff. So with that, here's a preview of a little bit of the information we were given. When the cover athlete was released, it looked like all the pre-orders on the major retailers got activated as well. So this is the Amazon information for the Xbox One version of Madden 16. As you can see, uh, Amazon is, has a little breakdown here of the new features that I'm sure EA gave to all the retailers. So based on this information and the information we were given from the EA Twitter and the Mutt Twitter, we're going to kind of give you a summary here. The major changes it looks like is coming in the passing game. They're instituting uh, what they're calling total control passing, as you can see on the screen here, uh, where it sounds like we're going to be getting a lot more control over the passing game, uh, specifically where the ball is going when you throw it relative to the receiver's body. A lot more of the if you want to throw it high, if you want to throw it low, if you want to lead, if you want to fade. Um, so you're getting a lot more control over where the ball is going, which is going to probably be a lot more impacted by QB accuracy. I know they made that push this year to make accuracy a much more uh, viable stat for the quarterbacks, but it sounds like next year they're taking it even a step further and really instituting a more in-depth passing system. So with the increased uh, accuracy and control over the passes, it sounds like we're also getting a lot more control over the receivers and the DBs as well. So it sounds like, based on what we were told, you're going to have a lot more control over the, the receiver while the ball is in the air as far as controlling the route, controlling how you catch the ball, uh, as far as spectacular catch, much more animations, um, and that type of thing. And on the defensive side, we're getting a lot more control over how to attack the ball. You can go, it sounds like a new feature they're giving us is uh, kind of making a hit as part of the coverage system. So you can go for a hit when the ball hits the hands to try to knock the ball out. Uh, in previous versions, obviously you can tackle the receiver and try to knock it out, but it wasn't a specific option that was instituted in the passing game. It was just kind of an overall uh, tackle, which was included in the general system. So they're making hitting the receiver an actual option in the pass defense game, which is kind of cool. They're also giving you a lot more control as far as how to defend the ball, um, a lot more animations for picks and tips. Uh, they're also kind of giving you a risk reward system with going for the big interception uh, and the risk of miff whiffing on the ball and just letting the receiver get behind you. We're playing it safe with the uh, just knocking the ball down, which is uh, akin to the system they have this year for tackling, going for the big hit, or just the wrap-up tackle. Another really cool feature that we're excited to see is the interactions between the DBs and the receivers are going to be a lot more in-depth, uh, especially when users are controlling the uh, DBs. You get to user press receivers now it sounds like uh, so a lot more press options a lot more uh, in your face if you want to do like a bump and run type coverage and there's also going to be a lot more hand fighting animations um, and that type of thing so they're adding a lot of contextual interactions between the DBs and the wide receivers which we're really excited about um, we we really have a preference on defense as far as theory and playing uh, when we play Madden, so we're excited to see this increase in our options and emphasis on 
being able to play a lot better defense with the DBs and the safeties um, and really interact with the receivers in a more meaningful way than just kind of run next to them. So should be should be interesting to see how that unfolds. Hopefully if it's instituted correctly it should uh, really give a lot more depth to playing defense against the passing game as well as give a lot more uh, better presentation as far as the hand fighting and the interactions make it feel a lot more authentic and realistic um, and the more more animations gives it kind of a, a more authentic feel as well so it's not just the same animation over and over again with specific receivers um, so we're really excited to see how that plays out <clears throat> that's the major uh, the major feature I would say that they're adding is just a really big emphasis on the passing game uh, other than that, they're not changing a whole lot of the actual features of the game or modes of the game based on the limited information we've been given so far. And again, this is all really preliminary overview, almost spoiler type information rather than details about the systems, um, but at least gives us something to go on so we can know what to expect coming into the game this year. Uh, as far as the modes of the game, it sounds like there's going to be all the same stuff with the connected franchise ultimate team skill trainer is going to be the major change based on the information we have where like this year they added tons of new stuff so you can really learn about concepts uh, how to run specific concepts like flood pass concepts and that type of thing as well as how to read coverages how to attack specific coverages and a lot more of the theory was added into this year's skill trainer um, which we really love because that's really all we do at Madden Academy is talk about the theory, how to attack things, um, and really how to how to play the game from the intellectual side so you know why you're doing what you're doing on the field. Um, so for next year, it sounds like they're expanding on the skill trainer even more by adding even more stuff in. Uh, so we're really excited to see what they add and uh, should hopefully make everyone a much better player um, just to, on the intellectual side of the game. Um, so. Lots more stuff being added to the skill trainer. Um, other than that, the modes look pretty similar to this year. Uh, Ultimate Team, uh, they sound like they're keeping mostly the same. They are adding on to the gauntlet that they added this year, the gauntlet series of challenges uh, that was really well received by the community. So it sounds like they're adding on even more to it, uh, adding on more rounds more boss levels it sounds like they're even adding on like a bonus system where you can earn extra lives by doing certain things you can jump levels if you do really well at certain parts you can lose levels if you do poorly on certain things so they're making it a much more in-depth system and giving a lot more options so uh, it was well, really really well received by the community this year lots of people loved it as a, a good extra thing to do with solos um, if you don't want to play head to head it gives you more options on playing solo more variety it was a great way to earn lots of rewards there were tons of coins and packs you could earn if you played through the whole thing so i'm sure next year it's everyone's going to love having that just have more content it'll be exciting to see what kind of new boss battles they come up with there are lots of fun ones this year so i'm sure they'll come up with some pretty fun ones for next year as well uh, so that's going to be the major change that we've it's been revealed so far for mutt um, as well as the rest of the game modes. Um, now, now that we've gone over what kind of the new things to expect, we want to talk a little bit about how you can start preparing for this because there's actually some things you can do now to prepare yourself um, for Madden 16. Uh, the first of which, as you can see here, is there's a deluxe edition that you can get. Uh, it's it's ten dollars more. It's going to be sixty nine ninety nine instead of fifty nine ninety nine that the regular one is. Uh, but that 10 extra dollars is going to get you 36 pro packs that are going to be released over 12 weeks. So, well, like this year, you're going to get three packs a week for 12 straight weeks um, starting on September 1st. And then uh, they're just normal pro packs. It sounds like nothing special to them. Um, and you're also going to get uh, almost a topper, it sounds like, that comes with a Playmaker pack. Uh, the Playmaker pack. Uh, comes with a specific playmaker player that is uh, apparently going to be a new system that they don't talk a lot about um, but it sounds like they're going to have these specific playmakers that you can add to your team they're going to have specific achievements uh, and goals as associated with those specific players that you can achieve through your using them on your team 
Um, it sounds like they're almost going to act as captains and probably give specific boosts to your team. Um, so if you get this deluxe edition or pre-order the regular version, you're going to get that playmaker pack as well to get a playmaker to add to your team right up front. Uh, you'll probably be able to unlock them throughout the course of the game as well, but getting one up front obviously is a big boost um, when you're just starting if you want to kind of get a head start in MUT. So, uh, as we were talking about getting a getting a boost or a head start for MUT 16, the pre-order for the Deluxe Edition is going to get you those 36 packs, which is a great way to get some extra cards. Uh, if you pre-order the regular version, you're going to get that Playmaker pack and you're going to get 10 Pro packs instead of 36. So. For an extra $10, you get 26 extra pro packs, which is obviously much cheaper than buying them in the store. So if you're looking to get a head start on the game um, and you're not opposed to spending money on packs um, or you just want to spend a little bit of money on packs, this is a good way to do it because it's definitely the cheapest way to buy pro packs. Uh, it kind of is a bummer that it's only three a week instead of just giving to you all up front and getting a big bundle of packs to open. Um, but that's what they did this year. It wasn't too bad. Um, you know, it is what it is, but it, it's still going to be a lot of cards. you still got a chance at all the rare cards. Um, it's a good way to just get yourself uh, a good boost to your team right away, even with those three packs that you get um, after the first couple days. It's a good way to get a head start for building your team up and getting those challenges going. Um, so that's the first way to kind of get a head start is just to pre-order stuff here. Um, Another option that you're going to have, though, is going through the loyalty program. Um, <clears throat> and the loyalty program that they're instituting is a lot like what they did last year. So if you played Madden 25, um, you are a little bit familiar with the loyalty system they use where you can actually unlock items in the next MUT by playing the current MUT. Um, so in Madden 25, they had some rewards that you got when you, if you completed certain things in Madden 25 when you first logged into uh, MUT for this year's Madden, you got packs or extra players or coins or something like that. So last year they were kind of hush hush about what specifically you had to do to get them though, other than specific uh, collections you could complete. They just said by doing stuff you're going to get rewards, but they didn't really go over detail on what exactly you needed to do. This year they're giving us a little more information right up front, which is nice. Um, <clears throat> so even at this preliminary stage, they've already released a little bit of information about this loyalty program. Um, so they're going to have a few different ways to do it. Uh, first of all, what you can unlock for next year is going to be uh, you can get coins, you can get contracts, you can get players. Um, any of those types of things you can get through this loyalty program, just it'll be unlocked right away. So when you first log in to MUT on Madden 16, they'll give them to you on your account. Um, so the way to do that is going to be basically just playing. Um, if you're you're going to get credit for playing head-to-head -head seasons games, completing solo challenges, completing sets. Um, they're gonna, you're going to get credit for all that and the progress you make. They're going to have certain milestones. They're not saying what those are, but for every certain milestone you hit, you're going to get a reward in Madden 16. Um, you're also going to get credit for the master sets. Those are probably going to be a little bit more rewards since they're so hard to get. Um, but you know for sure if you complete a master set, you're going to get a reward in Madden 16. So if you're looking for a little more incentive to complete that um, Madden Ma or that Mutt Master set uh, that you didn't get around to finishing. Um, this may be a little more incentive to go out and do that because not only are you going to get a reward in Madden 15, but you're going to get one in 16 as well now. <clears throat> so those are the major ways to get rewards um, in Mutt 16. They also instituted a new uh, thing you can also do to get a reward that you've probably already seen because they put it into Mutt. So if you've played Mutt in the last couple days, you probably noticed it. Um, and if you logged in a couple days ago, they gave you one of the collectibles for this uh, collection already that you just got for playing. But uh, if you go over into sets, you'll see that in the promo section of the sets, they added in this new thing called the loyalty collection. And what it is is it's uh, 10 collectibles that you add. They're called uh, loyalty collectibles. And uh, when you add 10 of these, it'll complete the set. And completing the set gives you a loyalty badge in Madden 16. Um, and you can complete the set up to 10 times. So if you get 100 of these collectibles, you complete the set 10 times and you'll get 10 collectibles in Men 16. Um, they're basically badges um, like this year, if you want to compare it to this year's Men. But they're 
uh, collectibles that you can add into sets and it looks like it'll be probably one or two collectibles per set um, and when you add it into the set you're gonna get a reward for completing it um, and that well, reward can be anything from coins contracts or players um, this is what the collectible looks like for this year um, another thing that they talked a little bit about but they didn't go into depth about is in Madden 16 with these uh, loyalty collectibles it sounds like you can also earn an overall boost um, which sounds like it's an item that you use that just gives you an overall boost to your team not sure how it would work exactly but based on what they told us it sounds like um, for example if you start out in your team as a 65 and you get this item um, you can boost your team up to a 70 overall without changing any of the players in it. Um, not sure if that just makes all the player stats go up a little bit or if it boosts all the players up one or two overall points. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see how that works, but it's something that they specifically mentioned that they'll have available. Um, so it'll be something to watch for and see how, how exactly it works, but uh, getting an overall boost to your team is obviously going to be an awesome way to get a head start. So another thing that you can do is just get these, rack up these collectibles in Madden 15, complete those sets, and so you have 10 badges waiting for you when you log into Madden 16, um, and then you can get you know 10 items to give you an extra head start. Uh, now to get these collectibles, which is probably what everyone's wondering now, um, to complete these Madden 15 sets, you basically just play. Uh, they, the EA is saying that you can get, you have a chance of getting these badges uh, with any other reward. So you complete a solo challenge that gives a reward, you have a chance of getting one of these badges. Uh, you complete a set that gives a reward, you have a chance of getting one of these badges as well. You play head-to-head -head seasons, you got a chance of getting these badges. Um, so really, anything you do in Mutt, uh, from this point forward has a chance of giving you these badges so the more you play the more chances you have to get these badges um, as well as earn rewards loyalty rewards uh, in Madden 16 too so you know if you're looking for a, a reason to come back and play mud again this is a good one uh, the more you grind out the more rewards you're gonna get not only the loyalty rewards for next year but also a chance to earn these badges to complete the loyalty set to get specific loyalty badges for next year. Um, so lots of, lots of good reasons to come back to MUD if you've been looking for a reason to play again. Um, whether you play solo or head to head, there's going to be ways to earn loyalty rewards any way you want to play. Um, so good way if you want to get a head start, uh, that's the way to do it. So. Hopefully you guys have found this information helpful. Uh, we went over all the new information that we have on Madden 16. Uh, we also <clears throat> went over the details about uh, what you can expect in Madden 16, the new modes, and good ways to get a head start in MUT, uh, including if you want to pre-order to get those bonuses, or if you want to uh, start getting those loyalty badges or completing all the stuff to get the loyalty rewards. Uh, all good ways to get a head start so when you log into Madden 16 you're ready to go you got all sorts of new stuff and you can just build your team um, from the ground up and get a head start on everyone else and really jump in um, ahead of the game so uh, thanks for watching guys uh, hopefully you found this information helpful uh, one other thing we want to do in uh, preparation for the new launches we're going to be doing lots of giveaways uh, in the weeks coming up um, both on our videos as well as in our live streams so um, if you're not already definitely follow us on Twitter or uh, subscribe on YouTube or Twitch uh, we do lots of live streams on Twitch um, and we include lots of giveaways on there and we're also going to be doing lots of uh, information reveal as it becomes available to uh, about Madden 16 so you can really stay on top of the game um, with the new information and if there's anything else you can do to prepare we'll give you the information as soon as it comes out um, and we're still going to be breaking down uh, playbooks giving you lots of schemes and lots of ways to win um, that it's all going to apply to both Madden 15 and 16 um, well, obviously when 16 comes out we'll give you some more breakdowns of the new system but the uh, schemes that we're giving you and stuff will transfer over well into Madden 16 as well so if you're not already, follow us on Twitch, subscribe on, on YouTube, follow us on Twitter, and we'll, we'll keep you up to date with all that information. Um, speaking of giveaways, we're going to do one here now too. So uh, how this one's going to work is any of our followers on Twitter, um, 
we'll, we'll pick a winner on Friday, May 22nd. So any of the followers we have on Twitter are eligible to win. Um, this giveaway is going to be for the next-gen console. So if you have an Xbox One or a PS4, uh, you're eligible to win here. And what we're going to do is we're going to pick one of our random followers and we're going to give away Alden Smith 99 uh, right outside linebacker, the, the 25 throwback. Uh, this is a super rare card. It's worth quite a bit of coin. Um, great addition to anyone's team. So uh, I'm sure everyone's interested in this card. Um, so all you got to do to be eligible to win, just follow us on Twitter. And um, uh, we will pick a winner on Friday and contact you and let you know if you won. Um, and uh, other than that, make sure you're following up. And uh, we'll... We'll be back with you guys soon with more play breakdowns, scheme breakdowns, and information on uh, Madden 16. Thanks for watching, guys.